This instructional companion on couples falls under the major topic statics, which contains the following two chapters, determinate statics and indeterminate statics. The chapter on determinate statics uh, contains uh, or covers a lot of different topics, force systems and vectors, distributed forces, uh, a, just a uh, instructional companion, equations of equilibrium, types of reactions, another uh, instructional companion, special members like two force members, an instructional companion, determinacy, types of beams, free body diagrams, 2D equilibrium, part of a, the 2D frame covers all that, couples, uh, the subject of this instructional companion, Hinges, pulleys, uh, an instructional companion, axial members, trusses, method of joints and sections, zero force members, which again is an instructional companion, catenary cables, and 3D equilibrium. The MERM uh, has a definition for couples. Uh, I like the following one. A couple is a combination of two equal but opposite forces, as you see here, uh, that do not have the same line of action. Uh, the, left pe the left one here is a clockwise. You've got two forces, F and F. Uh, the MERM shows F and minus F, but you're, you're already showing the, the uh, forces in opposite directions, so I don't think you need the minus sign. And there's the perpendicular distance D between them, which we're going to talk about here in a second, the moment of a couple. Uh, or your uh, forces can be the other way. Uh, again, they have to be uh, equal and opposite, and that's shown as a counterclockwise couple. Uh, as you can see, the sum of the forces of a couple are zero because one's to the right and one's to the left or one direction or the other. So the only thing a couple has is a moment. And as I've added, the moment of a couple is uh, labeled just C, C for couple, and it's uh, either of the two forces times the perpendicular distance. It uh, doesn't matter which one. If you uh, held your finger here, uh, you'd have F times D uh, clockwise. If you held your finger here, you'd still have F times D clockwise. So it doesn't make any difference which one you pick. Again, over here, uh, F times D or F times D. Either way. And for notation purposes, many times on beams, all you see is something like this. Uh, instead of them giving you, as the uh, MERM has in an example, where they've given you the, the forces and the distance, and we're going to talk about that in a second, uh, they just give you, they've already multiplied out the uh, F times D, and they just give you foot-pounds or newton meters, either at this kind of a symbol or the one that I typically use in, in when I teach, just uh, something that shows clockwise or counterclockwise clockwise again with the couple C being the actual number 200 foot pounds 500 newton meters uh, that sort of thing and we're going to work a problem here before we're through in addition to one that is in the MERM okay in the MERM uh, he has uh, this simply supported beam uh, a pin over here on the left and a roller and he's got he's got a little T projection here where he's showing um, uh, 10,000 pounds up on this side and 10,000 pounds not pounds, newtons, down on that side, and they're separated by 0.2 meters. So essentially, he has this sort of uh, diagram uh, force up on the left, force down on the right, perpendicular distance. So we can go in and calculate, and he does there uh, calculate the uh, moment of that couple, F times D, 10,000 newtons times 0.2 meters, or 2,000 newton meters. Okay. Well, now what would the, the free body diagram look like? Okay, in the MERM, this is the free body diagram he draws, although he uh, maintains this little T-section. But as I said, uh, if you're given this sort of figure up here and you calculate 2,000 newton meters, then all you need to do is uh, show a uh, 2,000 newton meter couple uh, clockwise and go from there. Now, kind of uh, hasn't completed. He's he sort of left this uh, joint over here, and as we know, we probably ought to come over here and say, okay, we got a hole there, and we've got if this was labeled uh, uh, A and B, uh, I would call this uh, AX and AY, and we would call this uh, well probably uh, if that was B over there, BY. But that's just a small point here, okay? So uh, the point here is you can ignore all this um, um, geometry up here and just put the 2,000 newton meters. 
Okay, he takes uh, on the next page. He takes uh, moments uh, and he, in words. He says uh, moments about the pin uh, pin connection, but I would be more specific and say moments about a. And he lets clockwise, like I do, uh, make be the positive. So he takes moments about uh, that particular point, and uh, on the diagram. Uh, this particular distance here is uh, 5 meters. So essentially you have the uh, 2,000 newton meters is clockwise. The moment of the, the uh, R2 is a negative uh, R2 times 5 meters uh, solve. And I always um, uh, do algebra first and then um, check units. The meters cancel. So you, get, uh, you will get newtons. Then get your calculator out and get uh, exactly what he did, 400 newtons. But let's look at another problem involving an unknown couple and an applied known couple. Okay, let's do a um, different kind of problem here. Uh, point A is over here, a cantilever built-in fixed uh, joint. Uh, have a beam that's uh, 10 feet long. Uh, at the tip is a 100-pound force, and 7 feet out is a counterclockwise couple uh, 500 foot-pounds. And the question is, determine the reactions at A. Now, in the um, uh, PE exam, you may only be asked for, well, what is the couple uh, in the, the wall over at A, that, that particular uh, number. But let's do it all. So the first thing to do, of course, is to draw a free body diagram. Okay, at the cantilever, what we have is three things going on there. We have our horizontal and vertical forces, AX and AY, which are similar to a pin. But a cantilever adds a third unknown, a couple, an unknown couple in the wall. And here I'm going to make that uh, counterclockwise, um, just, uh, just, to, just to have it there. I, in fact, I'm going to change the, to show you that it didn't matter which way. We did clockwise before. This will make counterclockwise here. Um, so the next thing to do is to do, do all three things. Well, the first one, the easy one, of course, is uh, some of the forces uh, in x equals 0. And so that just simply comes out to be that a, ax equals 0. And that's, that's sort of understandable. And then we can do the next one. Uh, do going to make some room here, get everything on the same page. Some of the forces in y equals 0. And of course, up is positive. So we'd have uh, ay. Uh, minus 100 uh, pounds uh, equals zero. So therefore, simply uh, AY is equal to 100 pounds. Uh, the 500 foot-pounds doesn't show up there because it's in uh, it's a couple moment, and so it only appears in the moment equation. Okay. Well, uh, as usual, we sort of pick uh, the, uh, A to do the the moment. So uh, let's do that. Some of the moments. Uh, at A uh, equal uh, zero. I'm going to make uh, a positive counterclockwise here. Okay, so we have. Uh, I'm going to move this up a tad here. Is uh, well, we're starting with this. Well, we've got a C sub A. Remember now, the couple at A is not the moment at A. The couple at A is an unknown, and so then plus um, the. Um, uh, I think. Let's see. I think I made that. Uh, I did. I made that 1500. Sorry. Let's go back up here. I think I decided I needed to make that a little bit bigger, so we'll make that 1500. So plus uh, 1500 foot pounds. Kind of wanted that for a reason. And then uh, the force, which is now uh, in a clockwise direction, uh, the 1500 was a plus, and so now we have a minus 100 uh, pounds times its moment arm, which is uh, 10 feet. And all that equals 0. Okay. So again, we've got uh, with counterclockwise positive set uh, this equal to 0, C sub A plus the 1500 uh, minus the 100 times 10. Okay. Well, I'm going to put that at the top of the next page and continue. Okay, I just recopied the um, equation at the bottom of the previous page, CA plus 1,500 foot-pounds minus 100 pounds times 10 feet. And uh, this up here, of course, comes out to be 1,000 uh, foot-pounds. So uh, that's a minus. So we take it solving for C sub A. We now have 1,000 minus the 1,500. So what we get is a minus 500 foot-pounds. And the direction that we assumed was counterclockwise. So that's OK. But what we want to think of this as is really 500 foot-pounds clockwise. Okay. So again, it doesn't make any difference which way uh, 
we make uh, positive, but uh, when we come down to the answers, if we get a positive answer, that's the direction the uh, force or couple was uh, was in. If we get a negative, it's just the other way. You don't have to fret at the beginning of a problem uh, as to which way things are. Okay. Well, what I like to do is take these answers and put them on a balanced free body diagram. So let me do that. Okay, the reason that I like to draw, now if you, you, you will not have to do this in the PE, but you might have to start off uh, with this in a particular problem. But this, uh, the balance free body is the start of another problem, and that problem is, is that you would put this at the top of a, well, 8.5 by 11 sheet here. I got it in landscape, but you do it in portrait, is to draw uh, lines down from here, and then you would have across here, you'd have your V of X, and then down here you would have your m of x and what we have here is the shear force and bending moment diagrams okay so this is the start of another problem and straighten the materials but uh, um, now the fifteen hundred pound uh, foot pound uh, couple it matters where it is. Uh, it's going to uh, cause a jump in the uh, bending moment diagram, just like the 100. You'll start off with 100 on the left, but again, that'll be the subject of another instructional companion. So uh, uh, that's sort of what I wanted to show you here with couples, an unknown couple and an applied couple. Again, I invite you to visit my website as part of your exam preparations and plan of study. study.